Welcome to this presentation on froth flotation, a critical process for mineral separation in the mining industry. This method leverages differences in particle surface properties to extract valuable minerals from ore. The flotation process. This process begins by mixing finely ground ore with water to form a slurry. Air bubbles are introduced and the valuable mineral particles are made hydrophobic or water repellent so they attach to these bubbles and rise to the top as froth. Generally, the unwanted gang remains hydrophilic, staying in the water and sinking to the bottom for easy separation. Role of collectors. Collectors are essential chemicals that bind to the surface of target minerals, making them hydrophobic. This allows these particles to attach to air bubbles and float, ensuring efficient separation from the gang. Role of frothers. Frothers create a stable froth layer by reducing the surface tension of the water, allowing small air bubbles to form. This stable froth traps hydrophobic mineral particles, making it easier to skim them off for further processing. Role of depressants. Depressants prevent certain unwanted minerals from floating by making them hydrophilic. This selective action ensures a cleaner separation, especially in complex ores with multiple minerals. Role of dispersants. Dispersants improve froth flotation by preventing particle aggregation, enhancing selectivity, stabilizing particle sizes for better bubble attachment, reducing slurry viscosity, and preventing slime coating on valuable minerals. Conclusion and METSOP expertise. Froth flotation relies on a careful balance of collectors, frothers, depressants, and dispersants. METSOP specializes in providing tailor-made flotation reagents to meet the unique needs of each mining operation. Our custom solutions are designed to maximize recovery and enhance the flotation process's efficiency. Thank you for your attention. For more information on how METSOP can assist with your flotation reagent needs, please visit our website or contact us directly.